Welcome to this out-of-the-box video experience. We will present you the opening of the box as a customer experience, the mechanical installation and followed by a quick setup of the device. First of all, let's look at the box and the contents. We recommend you check the exterior of the box as you receive it after shipment, just to make sure the packaging is okay. On the outside of the box, you have a sticker which provides information about your order. Manufacturing site, model, serial number which can be used on the PIC website to download the corresponding certificates and documents, tag number, and manufacturing date. Let's proceed to the opening of the box. Every box contains one envelope and one instrument. On the instrument you can find a nameplate, which reports the same information as the sticker on the box. The envelope contains the requested certificates and the accessories. Let's proceed to the opening of the envelope. Inside the envelope you will find Calibration Certificate Quick Start Bar Magnet DVD, which contains updated documentation and software Display Extractor Cover Wrench The Quick Start document will provide you the basic information to set up your level transmitter The installation Electrical connections The quick setup procedure you will want to follow once the device is turned on And finally, the contact details for any further assistance All devices go through a calibration process as standard Every calibration certificate reports the serial number of the unit it is linked to. The calibration is done on multiple points and the certificate shows the deviation value on every point. The deviation is reported here. As you can see, the new OptiWave radar instruments are very compact and light and have a reduced construction size. It has one main aluminium housing with two compartments one electrical and one for the sensor. This enables us to be more secure and safe with our instruments. The sunlid can be opened to access and view the display. Thanks to the peak lens antenna, there is no intrusion into the tank and the unit can easily be installed on narrow and small tanks. We start by unscrewing the lock. We recommend you do not remove it completely. Unscrew the housing protection by using the wrench key and remove cover. Unscrew the cable gland. Install the electric cables and then close electrical compartment housing, making sure you re-screw the protection lock. The instrument is now correctly connected. Changing of direction of the display. Unlock display housing cover using the wrench. And release the display by pushing apart the lower part of the key. Then use change display by 90 degrees for better visualization of the display. And make sure it is placed back correctly in order to conduct quick setup. Let's now have a look at the quick setup. Please note that device shown in the video is a solid radar, so the indicated procedure shows the correct setup of a solid device. Please enter the quick setup menu. Language. You can select among 12 languages available in the device. English, French and German are shown. Tag KR000000. Then we move into the login. Enter the password which is available on the Quick Start document and then go to the Application Assistant. Press now Standard Setup. Length is where you can select the unit in which you want to see your level on the display. Tank type will vary between a liquid and solid instrument. Tank height. The distance from the flange face or thread stop of the tank connection down to the tank bottom. 
If the tank has a dish-shaped or conical bottom, the tank height is measured to a point on the tank bottom directly below the antenna. Please enter your tank height in total. Current output variable. You need to select which variable you wish to see. Level, sensor value, reflection or distance. 0% range. This is the 0% value given to the bar graph indicator in normal mode. 100% range. This is the 100% value given to the bar graph indicator in normal mode. Current output range. This menu item gives current output values to the measuring range between 0% and 100%. Values given in the 0% range and 100% range steps. Error function. In case of an error, there are various systems. This sets the behavior of current output 1 if an error occurs. Finally, save configuration. The display cover is now screwed back onto the device. Please pick up the bar magnet provided in the box. As you can see, we can use the bar magnet on the display to go through the menu. And there you have it. Whether you selected a 80 GHz or a 24 GHz, the unit now is fully operational and is ready to measure in your application.